So we spared you watching me pour water. Uh, there's a little over three gallons in there. Um, obviously, my measurements are not exactly super specific as I'm eyeballing off of my container. Um, next critical thing is this needs to be up at temperature. So uh, how do we get it up to temperature? The other critical thing um, is that um, one of these heaters is drawing a lot of energy. So uh, there's a 1000 watt heater and a 1600 watt heater uh, element in this um, uh, mash and boil unit. So we gotta make sure that um, we don't light the house on fire. And this has, we've had a close call or two with it. Um, so you'll notice I'm on a ground fault interrupt uh, circuit. I found as close and as high draw um, um, extension cord as I could. And then we turn this whole mess on and semi-professionally prop the whole thing up. Uh, I will regularly check this to see if it's getting too warm, but let's hope it doesn't. Then we have to turn this whole mess on. So there's an on button, so on button is on. And then uh, there's a second on button. So that gets us, uh, gets the heater turned on and then we can set our settings. Uh, it actually gives you a readout, 125 Fahrenheit, so we don't have to heat it too much. Um, and then it's preset to 162. 162 is not a ma bad mash temperature, but I tend to aim a little bit lower. Um, so we're gonna set this to a little bit lower. I set it to 150, which is my favorite mash temperature. And then we let it heat up to 150 and then we'll get the grain in here. In the meanwhile, we are gonna go sanitize some things so that everything is up to speed.